In this video, we're gonna be doing a taper with natural twist on top. If you're new to this channel and want to learn how to cut new hairstyles, go ahead and subscribe below. It really helps the channel grow. And don't worry, I haven't forgot about the 50,000 subscriber giveaway. So one lucky person will still be shipped this clipper. So that video is coming soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you'll know whenever I release this video. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So in this video, I'm gonna give him a taper on the sides and in the back, and I'm gonna clean up his facial hair. Yeah, and I'm gonna leave the top like it is. I'm gonna style it at the end. Now, I really want you guys to pay attention to this video. And the reason I say that is because if you can learn how to master this haircut in a certain way, you will lock in a client for life, I guarantee you. Now, I'll explain more about what I mean further in the video, but just stay tuned and you'll find out exactly what I mean. Right here, you just see me shaving the facial hair and making our initial ball guideline. Now, I'm not gonna take this taper up too high because he's gonna, he gets arches on the side. So we're gonna keep those arches dark. So I'm not gonna take it up too high. So now we take our, our clipper with the lever fully open. And notice how I'm not going up really high. So you'll see me open and close the lever. I'm just blending in a small space right here. Okay, and we're just gonna repeat the same step around the entire head. So I made my guidelines and now I'm just gonna blend out that bottom guideline around each side of the head. Once again, we're repeating the same thing on all sides of the head. And take note not to take the fade too high. This is a very common haircut. So usually if you go in any barbershop, you will see this haircut probably six times out of 10. Okay, now we're gonna move on to blending with the guards. So here we have on the one and a half guard and what I'm doing right here is just debulking the hair. I'm just knocking down some of that weight line that you see, just so you can see the taper better. But notice how I'm not digging the clipper into the skin. I'm just letting it fall flush with the shape of the client's head. Now he has light corners, so Right here you see me tapering his edges a little bit and that's gonna be very important later when we move on to the lineup. So just remember what I did right there. So here we have the zero guard with the lever fully open and you'll see me gradually close it to blend in under that zero open. Notice how I'm using the corner of the blade as I've said in previous videos, when you're doing tapers, you want to use the corner of the blade because you're blending in such a small space. And since I'm blending in such a small space, you'll see me gradually open and close the lever a little bit just because I'm trying to get specific hairs. And just to get rid of that little weight right there, I have the one guard. If you notice, I'm really only using the right half of the blade. And see, now you just see me eliminate any dark spots that I see. And notice how I'm using the corner of that blade. That's a very important step when doing tapers. See, I'm only using a couple of teeth. Guys, I'm telling you, 
you will do this haircut so much. So it's very important to master it. Once again, I'm just debulking with the one and a half. And here we're back with the zero guard. Now guys, the steps didn't change. We're doing the exact same steps. So the same steps that you just saw me do on the left side, you're gonna see me do those same steps in the back. And notice, like I said, we're not taking these tapers too high. You just want a nice smooth taper. Some of you guys may be wondering why I place my, my finger on his neck. I'm, I basically just have light tension on the skin. I'm just pulling the skin just a little bit. That way I know I get a nice tight blend. It's just the subtle things that will really help you out with the haircut. Once again, we're getting rid of any dark spots that we see. Once again, you see me pulling the hair back so I don't take off too much into his actual afro. I'm just pulling the hair back and tapering around the edges. Like I said, I'll explain later when I get onto the line, when I move on to the lineup. But the main purpose of that one and a half was to remove the book so you can see the outline of the haircut. And once again, we're just repeating the same steps that we did on the left side, the back side, and now we're doing it on the right side. That's just a simple law of cutting hair. Whatever you, whatever you do to one side, you have to do it to the other side. And when you're doing tapers, you're gonna know that one side may not blend as easy as the other, or one or the other side may blend easier. It just depends on the the growth of the hair, the growth pattern of the hair, and it depends on what side they stoop on also. Okay, now we're moving on to the most critical part of this haircut. This step right here is the most important step to this haircut. Notice how I'm pulling his hair back. The only thing I'm doing is tapering the edges. And that's just so when I put the line up on his line, whenever I line him up in the front, it will show more. And then a lot of times with cutting hair like this, you have to visualize how you want the lineup to look. So I'm just lightly tapering his edges. And you'll see the difference that it makes whenever I begin to do his lineup. But this is by far the most critical step of this haircut. Because if I wouldn't have tapered his edges, his lineup would not be as sharp as it's going to be. A lot of times you just have to get some of the hair that overhang on the back, well bangs as some people call them. You just have to get some of that hair out of the way. But here you just see me keeping everything natural, but I'm trying to get it as sharp as I can while at the same time. And I know some people like to get their trimmer super sharp, but if you use a razor, to me, I don't want to, I don't want to irritate anyone's skin, so I don't set my trimmers extremely sharp. I just set them sharp enough to where I can get a nice crisp line. And 
by now you guys, you guys know my golden rule. Take off as least hair as possible with getting the line as sharp as possible. Now pay attention. I'm not digging into his corners. You didn't see me push his hair back. So I'm taking off as least hair as possible. That's why the tapering was so important. And you have to take your time when you're doing a haircut like this. I remember the first time I cut his hair, he was complaining about how the last barber didn't do his edge up how he wanted it. And after I cut his hair for the first time, he's been my client ever since. So that's what I'm telling you guys. If you master this haircut, you will lock in a client for life. See how the tapering brought that line up out? When I tapered the front of his hairline, look at how it brought his line up out. And you, you guys watched me line him up. I didn't push him back. Only thing I did was just taper his hairline, line it up, and now I'm using the razor. And I didn't use any enhancements on this haircut, so, you know, this is all natural. Notice how I'm using my thumb to pull the skin. That way I don't cut him. And this is something, this is nothing new, nothing fancy. This is just a air compressor, a cordless compressor. And instead of putting enhancements in the bottle, it's just simply alcohol. So instead of uh, wetting your client's forehead, smacking them with alcohol, just, this is just a different alternative. You can use a light mist. It doesn't burn as bad because it's, it spread out more. So how he does his hair, he doesn't use a sponge or anything. He literally just wets it and shakes his hair. But what I'm doing right now, I'm just applying some shine to the hair with some oil sheen. And you see me just lightly just fluff his hair out to give it some volume. But how you would style this hair is just condition it, uh, put a leave-in, wash it of course, condition it, put a leave-in moisturizer, and then he just shakes his hair while it's still damp. You guys comment below how this cut turned out. Stay tuned and you'll see the after photos at the end of this video. I think it turned out pretty well myself, but you guys let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.